So you have Hyper MST Pro version 3 and you want to integrate the level manager, ability system and unlock system, which is also tech tree into MST Pro. I will show you how. First of all, migrate all the packages over to this project. When you migrate, please click on don't overwrite existing files so you keep the original data tables. After that, navigate to your world settings, open up the game mode of your MST Pro, open up your Palm, play controller and game state class. On the Palm itself, we want to click on the attribute manager, say use mana. And boom, now we have mana to use. On the play controller itself, uh, we want to add our ability manager, but also our level manager. Uh, we have two level managers. One is the basic that is included in the unlock system. But if you have the advanced one, then you can use the advanced one. And we want to use the unlock system advanced. Now something very important to note. The unlock system needs to be uh, the last component to add. Because that one requires ability manager to already be initialized. And also uh, a level manager. So if you... Uh, 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 for instance, I have done this, then you need to remove that one and make sure that one is later. And now on the game state itself, we're going to add the ability tag mapper, oh, ability tag mapper advanced. Uh, game state tag mapper ability. Perfect. Click on save all and let's test it out. So now what you will note is that the UI in the lower right corner, we have the ability set and we can actually select abilities like Shadow Stab and let's do an Ice Shard, nice, and maybe hmm, Healing Light, sure. What you also will see is in the attribute manager, here we have the attribute point for if you're leveling up and you can add attribute points, you see all the levels. Passive ability tab and also the recipe tab is created. Now another thing to note, what you see is there is no hotbar. If you want a hotbar together with the ability system, then you need to find a way for yourself. But for us, we say, okay, if you have an ability system, we don't want to show a hotbar. First of all, because of conflicting inputs, one, two, three, four, etc. Uh, if you want to define other inputs, it's fine. But for us, we provide it uh, preferred like this. Now you see. Oh. Yes, so we have an ability system. Perfect. Oh, oh. Okay, yeah, perfect. No, nice. So yeah, now we have an ability system in our... Ooh. Perfect. MSC Pro. Yes. Okay, something to note for the shadow step. With some abilities, we hide the, the character itself, just like what you saw with the shadow step. And if you have multiple skeletal meshes on your um, uh, palm, uh, or uh, sorry, your character, make sure that the one that you want to make visible, invisible, has the tag character mesh on it. So that one is, is being shown uh, and disabled. And obviously the unlock point. So here we have two unlock points and I think I can unlock this iron hatchet. And I believe we should eventually be able to create it here in the forge or in the workbench. I think in the forge. So if we unlock it like this, boom. Now, yeah, perfect. So now we can actually craft things. So that's also very cool. And also the passive abilities tab that is also automatically created. Uh, let me select this one, boom, 200 more health, perfect. Nice, so yeah, that is how it works. It also saves automatically, can load, things like that. Um, I hope you enjoy. I think this is it and I hope you have a great day, bye. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, uh, always feel free to reach out. For instance, in the comments below, via Discord or mail. And don't forget to check out our website and Discord. I'm happy to talk to you there. Have a nice day. Bye.